What's good, YouTube? My name is Jason, and we're back for episode 2 of Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. In the last episode, Professor Crane either got stolen or some shit. We find out our starter was an Eevee. I did not check the nature for the Eevee, so let me do that in this episode. Go to our Pokemon. Summary. It's naughty nature. And that might not be that bad for the for the Eevee that evolution that I want. All right, so let's find out what happened. It's terrible, Jason. Some strange man came barging in and took off with the director. God damn. That was an ugly voice. All right, let's see what's happening back over here. Oh, why are you in the floor? Why is he on the floor? Why is all these people on the floor? Oh, that's my nigga. Where you taking my nigga? Will you let go of me? Where do you think you're taking me? Who laughs like that? <laughs> I'm taking you to a new lab, Professor. What? I mean, what? My new lab. Move it. We don't have time. You don't want to get hurt. Hustle yourself into the car. You people. What are you? Ooh, let's go save our, our professor. Huh? What is it, punk? You gonna play a hero and try to stop us? I don't show mercy to any, anyone. Not even kids. Alright, so our first battle, I guess? Our first real battle? Let's go. Look at Teddy Ursa. Alright, let's do this, Eevee. So I have to rename my Eevee once I find the nickname raider. I'm gonna rename it. Jason! The aura reader is spawning! That's a shadow Pokemon! Hurry, Jason! Hurry! Throw a Pokeball at it! Alright, so... If we click fight, we can't do that. Jason, that's not it! Hurry up and throw a Pokeball! See, I thought, you know, when playing Pokemon, you always gotta... Damage it a little bit before you throw a, throw a Pokeball. He just says, throw the Pokeball at it. So let's see what happens. It's not a Pokeball, it's a Snag Ball. A Snag Ball. So let's see here. One, two, three. Teddy Ursa was caught. Let's go. Easy peasy. Ain't gonna be that easy all the time. Spy naps. By Nats with defeat. What was that? My shadow Pokemon. What's that? Was it a snack? Ooh. Man, you poor as shit. $165. I need more money than that. Kid! What is that machine on your arm? Could it be a snag machine? What the heck is that doing here? This big news. Come on, move it. I need to report this to the headquarters, like, now. And then they go running. So why don't we have just our Pokemon attack that big guy and get the professor back? Oh, damn, they just stuff him into the car like that? It beat like that sometimes. Damn, man, we don't even try anything. We just ran up and just like, hey, man, have a nice trip. That's all we did. Oh my god. Ah, they took the professor away. Don't cry, Jovi. I'm sure Professor Crane will be okay. We contact the police. The proper authorities about Professor Crane. They should let us know if they discovered anything. I still can't believe that this is happening. Professor Kane predicted that someone will again try making shadow Pokemon. His prediction was on the mark. Jason. Oh, wait. Wrong person. Jason. The Teddy Ursa you snagged probably isn't the only shadow Pokemon that was made. When the purified chamber is complete, we will be able to save many shadow Pokemon at the same time, but... 
Professor Crane is critical to this project. Without him, there's nothing we can do. Sam, music though. Mom just had like some shotgun gun shit just happen. Naruto boy. Let's complete it. We'll finish the chamber ourselves. Lily, the director's not here. It's hopeless. There isn't any way possible. Nani! <laughs> You're on the verge of finishing. This isn't the time to feel sorry for yourself. The Purified Chambers project got this far just because, not just because Professor Crane was here. We got here because we all worked as a team. Yeah! Having come this far, it would be, it would be wrong to stop now. Our prior scientist was on the line. Let's finish the project as one. Things will get very busy around here. I'll go upstairs and check how the data processing is prog progressing. Damn, mom. You badass. She did some Naruto speech on us. Bye, Joey. I don't fucking like your ass. I hope I don't have to see you ever again. Um, I still don't know what the hell we're doing. Maybe I gotta go talk to mama. Mama, where you go? Mama, mommy, mom. Oh, she's right here. This basics data should be fine now. Keep going with it. Jason, you come here at the right time. I get you to run an errand for me at Gaton Port. Probably said that wrong. We go to a special machine part for the purified chamber from the parts shop. Hey, a new place. Oh my god, no. Like, oh my god, Joey knows the part shop is next door to Emily's house. Peach always gives me Starbucks. I love her. Mommy, can Joey go? Joey wants to help everyone and maybe get some Starbucks along the way. Joey. Oh, wait. Joey, I appreciate your offer. I know you want to help, but it's an important component. Okay, Joey, you're a member of the lab staff, too. You may go if you take Jason with you. Because at least Jason will keep you straight, bitch. Dear, would you mind going with Jovi? Okay, mommy! Big brother! It's Jovi's assistant! You have to listen to Jovi, big brother! Oh, shut the fuck up, bitch. I don't like you. Off we go to Gateon Port! Jason, Jovi, <clears throat> Jason, Jovi, both of you, be careful, please. I'm counting on you two. Here we go. I don't like you, Jovi. You thought you talk in third person. I don't know why you don't say it. I will. You can say you say Jovi will. Your name is <laughs> Who does this? Alright, so we gotta head out to the, to the component part. Get my mom some shit for the chamber. Oh my god, this guy comes out. Hey, Jason, Jovi, where are you two off? Bro, you got a twin brother, holy shit. Jovi! He's on a- oh wait, no. <laughs> Jovi's on an important trip to Gateon Port. Big Brother is Jovi and the sister nigga nigga gave me some Starbucks too while we're there. Huh? Jason is your assistant? Uh, you- oh, I get it. She's stupid. You must be confident with such a good assistant, Jovi. Anyways, Jason, could we ask you to hold on to the snack machine and use it? There are many other shadow Pokemon out there. If you spot one rescuer from the criminals, I'll make approaches to the authorities and other Pokemon that have Pokeballs available for sales at the shop. There's more I wanted to give you to you, Jason. Crane's Memo 1. Crane's Memo 2. These documents on shadow Pokemon that Professor Crane and I completed, please read them. Okay, not completed, compl complied. So basically all they do is like when you, if you never played the game before, basically all it does is um tell you the history of Shadow Pokemon and stuff like that. And other stuff as well. Personally, I'm not going to do it because I already know about it. But who we are at KTM Port. Wow, big brother. Look, look. It's the sea, the sea. It's so big. I like that one guy's dick. Listen, listen, the part shop is over there. Hurry, big brother. Fucking bitch. This way, this way. God damn, you fucking freaky as shit. You look scary. 
Damn. Damn. Oh, jeez. Joey fell down. And the dick was big, though. Hey, hey now. Where you think you're going? Oh, sorry, Joey. Sorry, it wasn't on purpose. Hey, and look what you done there. You messed up the happening look of Zook, the coolest, baddest, and happening guy around. Stomp. Sorry, doesn't begin to cut it. Huh, you there. Yeah, you punk. You're with this munchkin, or aren't you? And it looks to me like you're a trainer. You look like you'd be a million times more fun than that munchkin. I'll stomp you flat with some shadow Pokemon. That's quite enough. Wait, he's an old guy, okay. <clears throat> Pokemon aren't meant to be. Okay, hold on. That's not, no. Pokemon aren't. Oh, wait, no. Pokemon. Pokemon aren't meant to be used in such a manner. Choose your place and time. Shut it. Hey, meddling senior citizen, take your preaching to someone who cares. Or do you want me to pound you too? Damn, he's gonna pound him? Damn, he's gonna have sex with him? That's fucking it. Mr. F Mr. Versace, perhaps I should. Oh, he was that blue guy I was talking? Never mind. Huh? And who do you think you are? So you're gonna play the man and stop me? This gets better by the minute. Let's see you try. Alright, we're about to watch two battles. Alright, Zangu's on the left corner with his partner Zooks, and the mystery man, Eridos, sends out a fucking Alakazam. Holy shit. Yo, my nigga's about to get bodied. Level 44. What level is his exact going again? 28. That thing is getting bodied. Damn. Fucking O code, bitch. He just got a heart attack. Mystery Man Oridos defeated Thug Zook. Hey, he's a thug. Right. Your power, where does it come from? You've done it now. Don't think you're getting away with messing with the great Zook. Remember this. Should I give chase? No, no. Oh, wait, no. No, no. No, no. That won't be that. Oh, wait, no. No, 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 <clears throat> no, no, that won't be necessary. He won't come back. Le le leave him be. Yes, sir. Let, <clears throat> let us be on our way. I can't do an old man voice. Uh, thank you. Oh, oh, oh. That hardly deserves it. Wait a Ho ho! Ho ho! <laughs> ho ho! That hardly deserves such gratitude, my little lady. I don't know what voice to give him. I don't know what kind of voice. We only did things. We only did what we had to be done. Nothing more. Maybe I should give him like an Indian accent. <sighs> Alright, let's see here. Can I fight you in a battle? Sure, there are many hotheads around these parts, but picking on kids like you is going too far. Okay, so I'm only going to give people in a cutscene voices. Anything past that, I'm not going to give them. Javi! Is that you, Javi? Oh! Emily and R.C. Wait, R.K.? I don't know. Javi! So like, what is it? What is you doing here, Jovi? Being harassed by that big strange man. Were you okay? Yep. Strong people helped us. Big Brother was there too, so nothing bad happened. Jovi came here on an important visit. Big Brother is Jovi's assistant today. Bitch needs to give me Starbucks. Oh, you must be Jovi's brother. Jason, I'm glad we finally met. I'm Emily. Hi, Jovi's big brother. 
Jo- oh, Jovi. <clears throat> Jovi's been very nice friends to my daughter Emily. <laughs> she went from like a, a lady to a, a guy. That elderly, that elderly gentleman name is Mr. Versace. Burridge. Burridge. I don't know. Here comes my boat with his two assistants occasionally. There's nothing more serious about him, don't you think? He's supposed to be fabulously wealthy. Wealthy. Rumors like that give me shivers. I'm hoping to become a novelist whenever I come across anything mysterious. I try to imagine a story around it. Anyways, be careful in this town. There are a lot of rough customers about. Emily, we should we should be going. Okay, bye bye, Jovi. Yep, see you, Emily. Ugly ass bitch. <laughs> All right, so hopefully nothing gets interrupted. We can go in here, no problem. Oh, this is actually where you get something for your Pokemon. So like the guy won't be here right now. So. Oi! Did you want something here? The shopkeeper's out right now. He did something about having to go out to Dr. Kamin. Uh, what was it now? Well, the doctor's manor is where he went. He said his grand per. Is that really his name? We'll be back from preparing the boat, rotating bridge, so I'm posing mine the shop to them. But I don't know where anything is or how to ring up a cell or anything. I have no clue what to do. I suppose it doesn't matter. Though it's really quite awfully boring, really. If you like how you help me with it sometime, anyway, I gotta tell you to find some, okay, may find interesting. When I was a young say, I said to all of the states, and I go, uh, our world is huge, and this huge world is filled with an incredible profusion of Pokemon. I love the Pokemon in the world. The one I found to be the most interesting is Eevee. Now, Eevee is a unique Pokemon. I, I, it can evolve into five different kinds of Pokemon, you see. When I say out, I study Eevee quite exhaustively. As a result, I obtained five items that are keys to Eevee's evolution. Oh, you say you raised it in Eevee? Well, what a coincidence! I am meant to is meant to happen then. Well, let me co commemorate you. I think I said that right. This occasion by giving you one of the five items. There's no need to be shy about it. Go ahead, choose one. So with this, it allows us to pick our Pokemon, our Eevee. What would he evolve to? So there's Espeon, Umbreon, Flareon. Jolteon and Vaporeon. There is no Sylveon, no Leafeon, no Glaceon in this game because this is a third gen game. But I already know what what Pokemon I'm gonna use because it's my favorite Pokemon, and we're going with the Moonshot because Umbreon's the shit. The Moonshot will make an Eevee evolve into it to the Pokemon Umbreon, but it's not that all that simple. First, you need to move, keep that Moonshot with you all the time. Don't put it away in the PC and don't throw it out. Made to keep your EV with your EV. Something. So would you like to have the moon shard? Fine, you can have the moon shard. Just like, just like your EV is something. I wasn't really paying attention. Alright, so now we get the thing. Wow, big brother, you're so lucky. Like, I want one. Jovi wants something too. I like Starbucks. Oh my god, I can go with Starbucks right now. Alright, so, then you want to come over here, up here, because you know how that one guy he said he was fixing, that's the son of the shop guy thingy. So you gotta come up here, when he's fixing the rotating bridges and stuff. Like, that would be pretty cool to have, but then it would be kind of fucked up too, because like, you see that one house right there? How does he get to places, man? Like, what does he press to get over here? Ooh. Oh, wait. Phew! Well, that settles that. All fixed. You want me? You want to talk to me? Yeah, the parts shop is ours. Huh? You need a machine part? Where's Grandpa? He's gone off to Dr. Kaminko's house. Arr. When Grandpa gets excited over some mechanical things, he's off like a short. Never mind. The shop where his grandson, me. I'll find the machine part you need. Can I get you to come to our shop? Man. Grandpa should be so lucky to have a caring grandson like me looking after him. I'm not sure if that sounds like he's a heavy smoker or what, but fuck. 
Alright, man. So I need this part. Sorry, we're out of the machine part, you said it right. Well, I thought. Wait. I guess I read that wrong. Oh, well. I just noticed that he had a grin. Wow, in the in the, like the regular GameCube, you can't see that grin. Hey, <laughs> here it is. Here it is. This is it. Here you go. Tame the machine part. It's a rare item, the machine part. It took a while to get the order in. How's your director, Professor Crane, doing? Huh? The professor's HQ. Oh wait, no. The HQ lab director was abducted by some goons with shadow Pokemon. I've been through something like that before, but who would have thought it happened again? I hope the lab director's found. I'll be rooting for you guys, so don't give up. All right. So we got our part. I think we can leave now. Fucking Joey done didn't do shit this whole time while we were here. So now we gotta go. I think we go back to our our crib now. We can be like, we can be like MTV, pimp my ride. I mean, no, MTV. This is my crib. All right, I'm back with the machine part, guys. Oh, oh wait. Oh, Jason, could you just wait one second? I found some more memos. I wrote up the director. Wrote up with the director. I think you should have them, Jason. Oh my God, I hate. I don't like these things because like they're almost useless once you know if you know the game. And there's a lot of memos. They'll give you basic information about Shadow Pokemon. Fuck it, how am I gonna read this thing? Let's go. I believe Mom was on this side of the building, actually. Mom! I don't want Joey by my side anymore, and I got the part now, so... Take her little bitch ass in her Starbucks wand and bitch. Away from me. Good thing, I feel like this will be the last time we will see Jovi. Welcome back. Oh, wait, no. Welcome back, Jason. Was Jovi well behaved? We ran the air. Oh, wait. <clears throat> we ran the air like you wanted, Mommy. A bad guy tried to stop us. But a nice person helped us. Oh. Oh, wait. Oh, no. <clears throat> oh, no. Really? I'll get the details later. What about the machine part? I handed her the machine part. Thank you. With this component, we can get down to the finishing touches on the purified chamber. I should take this down to the purified chamber on the ground floor now. Oh. Oh! Jovi will take it! Jovi, are you sure? Don't drop it. Jovi can do it! Jason. How is your shadow Pokemon doing? Purification progress is a shadow Pokemon spend time together with the, its trainer. Has the heart rate fallen to zero? I, I don't know, so I'm going to say fucking no. Oh, by the time the purified chamber is completed, the heart gauge should be down to zero. If the heart gauge has fallen to zero, that shadow Pokemon is ready to open his heart. But, that's, but that alone isn't enough. To complete the process, the Pokemon needs to go through a purified... Purification ceremony. It's basically a ritual for it to return to its na natural state. If the purified chamber were ready, it can go through the cer ceremony there. But it looks like we need a little more time to get finished. Because of that, I think your shadow Pokemon should go through the purification ceremony using a different process. There's a village called Agate. In the village is the Relic Stone, which has the power to restore shadow Pokemon to their natural state. It worries me a lot to spend to send you such a far, far place by yourself, dear. But I think it's something that only you can do. Well, dear, will you get to Algate Village? Fuck yeah! Means I got to stay away from fucking Jovi. Thank you. You know, Jason, I'm so proud of how you're becoming more and more dependable. All right, Algate Village. Here we come. The relic is used for purification ceremony is under care of a name, Egon. I will get in touch with him so that he knows you're coming, Jason. I will do my best to get the purified chamber finished while you're gone. Please be careful, Jason. Okay. So we did all that. Nothing really crazy going so far right now. But I will save the game right here. So. I'm going to end the video here, guys. We caught one Shadow Pokemon so far in this episode, at least. 
No real battles yet, but we get to watch it in a crazy ass battle. But, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace!